Hey guys, welcome to a Surface GUI tutorial. I forgot to record my mic last time, so let's go ahead and do this. So I'm just going to copy a part here and just move it and just create whatever part you want. The thing is with signs, you want them fairly big. We're going to do an end product like this over here. Uh, so go ahead and I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. Let's burn it down to about this size. If you have a sign that's like this, it's not going to work because the text is going to be way too small. So go ahead and make a sign that's a fairly good size, you know kind of like that compared to the home store or compared like that to the mannequin which is this isn't that big of a sign all right so uh go ahead and color and to customize your or sign whatever you want this is where the text is going to go so next what we need to do is insert a surface gui into the block don't worry if your studio looks different um go ahead and insert that oh we insert two of them okay so uh make sure this is all correct it should be by default. You don't really need the best of Surface GUI. So click Surface GUI, that way you're inserting into it, and then double click text box. And to get advanced objects, go ahead and just go to Model Advanced Objects. And to view all this other stuff, again, you can customize your studio, you can move this around, such as that. I'm gonna go ahead, can I not split that or something? Okay, that's annoying. All right, so text box, let's go ahead and open that. And to customize your text, let's go ahead. Uh, as you can see, the text is on the wrong side. So we're going to go to back to Surface GUI. This is usually the only thing you need to edit. And the canvas size, we're going to change it to left. And it should be on the right side. And then uh, decreasing the canvas size will make the text bigger. So let's do 400, 100. Uh, we're going to have to make it smaller. Let's do 250. There, that works. Okay. So go back here, text box, that. So make sure you have your properties open for text box. And this is what you're going to edit to actually make it look different. Uh, background transparency, uh, if you want to get rid of that, go ahead and do that. Uh, this looks a lot much cooler, and it's good for transparency or just making a normal sign. Uh, text color, I'm going to go ahead and make it white or make it whatever you want. You can make it red. You can just make it whatever you want. I'm just going to do white. And to change your text size, go ahead and do that. So that and then to change what it says which is one of the most important parts I'm just gonna make it say Big Granny and uh, whoops let's go back here text box properties okay so next uh, if you wanna add some outlines to this go ahead and put text stroke parency to zero and you can customize the color of the outline so if I wanted to put red outlines you can do that But I'm just gonna go with black because that looks the best in my opinion at least so make this your own make it customizable or make it customized to your needs or what you want and if you want to move the text around you can go top or if I want to put it on the left side you can do that but you shouldn't really need to mess with that too much you can always resize the brick uh, so about brick sizes again if you make the brick smaller the text is going to get smaller as you can see here it goes like that so it's going to be a little tiny sign that says big granny so if you want to make a invisible sign like I did here, you can't view it for the other side though, so it's just up there. So if you want to make some cool designs, stuff like that, we're just, let's go ahead and make this bigger. Um, let's go to Explorer, select the part, uh, properties, uh, can collide if you wanted to walk through it, if you want that, and then reflectance or transparency one. And make sure your stuff is anchored. I've been noticing that a lot of people have been complaining that their stuff is falling apart. Uh, by default, usually things are anchored. I mean, unless you're making a destructible game, never unanchor your stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope this really helped you out. Surface GUIs are amazing, especially if you're doing like a home store, just anything you want in general to show things or to show off things or show people uh, what you're talking about. And you can make this all kinds of cool stuff as well. So Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out the playlist for more tutorials. And if you liked this video and thought it was pretty good and it helped you out, please leave a like. And uh, if you have any questions or anything in general, please leave a comment or if you have any ideas for tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.